Um, so you book in the case and then book in happens in safety databases like Argus and RSG. So you book in a case, data entry happens, data entry happens based on the adverse event report form or the source document, which we discussed yesterday on Tuesday. So they, after data entry, the case, I mean, of course, in data entry, it's in Argus. So once the case is in Argus, you don't say forwarding, you use the word routing. Now, this word routing is the same across any safety database, whether it is Argus, RSG, or any uh, safety database, when the case is forwarded, uh, when, the, when the case moves, I should say, when the case moves, it will definitely be, say, routing. So you route the case from data entry to quality control, quality check, I should say, quality check, and then from quality check, you go to medical review. From medical review, it's routed to quality review. From quality review, the case will be locked, and in this step, it will be locked. The reports will be generated, transmitted, submitted. Case will be, uh, once the uh, reports are submitted, then the case is routed to archival. Now, this is all forward routing. Most of the times, most of the times, I would say 95% of the times, we always forward route a case so that it is submitted in time. There may be scenarios where you may back route a case. Now, again, it's just less than 5% of the times. So what are some of the scenarios or what is the most common scenario where you will back route a case? You will back route a case if you are doing too many case corrections that the previous case owner should be doing. So let us say if you are in medical review and the case is routed to medical review and you are reviewing it and you see a lot of data that you are correcting, you know, the patient's initials are wrong, the patient's date of birth is wrong, the narrative. Uh, guys, one second. Yeah, Satya. Um, what do you want to do? Cancel? I'll I'll take care of it. Don't worry. That's fine. Don't worry. I'll take it. I'll take it. Don't worry. I got it. Okay. Bye. Bye. Sorry, guys. Um. So, uh, once the case, uh, one of the scenarios where you will back out a case is if you're doing a lot of data corrections that the previous case owner should do. Uh, then in the, the most of the times we will back route it if you're like really finding lot of uh, uh, discrepancies in the data that was entered uh, from the source document and what is in the Argus. Like the narrative is not written right or if uh, they're not putting the right queries sometimes so you can back route a case. But most of the times uh, you, you don't do it. Uh, you try to uh, make sure that the case is going forward uh, as much as you can. But sometimes if you, if you are like really writing a narrative all by yourself in a medical review state, then you should be back routing a case. Um, so again, this is an important uh, slide because this is where your interview question comes in. What do you do in pharmacovigilance? Can you, can you, can you state your day-to-day -day activities in pharmacovigilance? So this is the slide that you need to kind of summarize. So we'll talk about it at an end so that um, you'll, you'll, you'll kind of have a, a good understanding of how to give a, a comprehensive answer. So these are, uh, these are the objectives of each state. So they might ask you, what is the objective of doing a triage? This is the objective of doing a triage is prioritization. So you prioritize all 15 day report, you prioritize all seven day reports and they are getting uh, reported in time. So the objective is prioritization. Data entry, the objective is accuracy. Accuracy of making sure whatever is reported to you in the adverse event report form or the source document that is actually mirrored in the Argus database. So that is the 